Hi everyone, so this video is going to show you how to draw uh, lab equipments. In your copybook, you will have to draw all these equipments using a pencil. Don't use a pen. Use a pencil and use a ruler for all straight lines. I don't have a ruler um, on screen. I'll try to draw the lines as straight as possible. Uh, but this these diagrams are 2D diagrams, simple diagrams that everyone will recognize as being these equipment. So from the video, you see all the equipment that you're supposed to know. So in your copybook, you will draw the equipment and next to it, you will write uh, what it does. Okay, so let's see all the equipment you need to know. So let's start with a beaker. So a beaker will have a beak. So you have to draw a beak. These have to be straight lines, okay? So it should be in pencil and you have a few graduation, big graduations. That's it. So that's a beaker. Let's see, a conical flask. A conical flask is also called an Erlenmeyer flask. So it has the form of a cone. Okay, and you can include some graduations in here. So that's a conical flask, and you can draw the top like that. So that's a conical flask. Cylinder, also called measuring cylinder. So that's the measuring cylinder. It will have more graduations. Uh, of course, this you have to use a ruler, and your graduations need to be neat. Uh, mine, because of the screen, it's a bit hard for me to draw. Okay, so measuring cylinder. Let's see test tube and test tube holder. Well, you can draw a test tube on its own. So that would be a test tube. Be careful. Your test tube should be fine enough. Okay, please don't draw a test tube like that. That's not a test tube. That's a beaker. So test tube, no graduations. And if you have to include a test tube and a test tube holder, actually, you will not be asked to draw a test tube holder on its own. Test tube holder needs to be holding the test tube. So uh, my test tube over here. Okay, so test tube holder holding it will be something like that. Okay, uh, if you want, you can show like the scissors thing. On the handle right so that's a test tube holder so then if you have your test tube holder you have to label that so that would be labeled test tube holder and that would be labeled test tube okay I remind you all diagrams in pencil you're at home no chance you forget your pencil okay test tube rack so in a test tube rack actually there's going to be test tubes when you're drawing it so um, you're going to have, I'm drawing the test tubes, okay, and then the rack, I'm just going to draw something like that, okay, so that represents a test tube rack, fine, so you see these are very simple drawings, nothing artistic about that. Now crucible tongs, uh, crucible tongs, actually they will be holding crucibles, so let me draw a crucible first. So let's say that's the crucible and the crucible tongs okay so you see these are crucible tongs okay just showing that it holds it as long as it's something that you're labeling crucible tongs right and of course you're using a pencil and your ruler now beaker tongs, beaker tongs uh, from the diagram you've seen that they are like big and I'm going to use the beaker tongs to hold a beaker. So I have my beaker here and I'm just going to show the crucible tongs here. Okay, so crucible tongs and label that, uh, sorry, beaker tongs, label it. Okay. Bunsen burner, actually a Bunsen burner usually goes with a tripod stand that hasn't been shown in the, in the video actually, but we'll I'll, I'll draw a Bunsen burner, very simple diagram, 
nothing hard about it okay make sure you use your ruler okay okay and a little hole over there if you want you can show the wires for the gas okay that's optional and if you're showing the so that's the bunsen burner okay bunsen burner if you want to show the flame that's fine and if you're showing that with a tripod stand then the tripod stand is going to look like that okay so that's the tripod stand and usually the wire goes goes on top like that so that's tripod stand and the Y goes this is the setting that we're used to see in our lab uh, so depending on the type of labs some labs use uh, the stand and the ring uh, the ring um, to kind of hold anything over the Bunsen burner but we use the tripod stand okay and the stand, so a stand, that's just a stand. Now on the stand, on the stand you can have different types of clamps. So if you want, you can draw the clamp here. Okay, so that's the stand. This is the stand. And that would be the clamp. That could hold anything. Uh, or you could have on the stand, you could also have that iron ring. Okay. So that would be the iron ring, that would be a clamp. The metal stand is just that structure. The stand is just this, just this is a stand, okay? Let's see, Y goes. Y goes, like I've shown you, usually the Y goes will go together with the tripod stand, but if you have to draw just the Y goes, usually it's like that. So that's the asbestos center. That is, this center is going to allow the heat to diffuse uh, properly on anything which is found on top of the Y goes. So the heat is going to be distributed evenly by that asbestos center. And then if you have a beaker that's on top here, so it's going to distribute the heat evenly. Okay, right. Clear triangle, it's just a triangle like that. And then it has something. The clear, the clear triangle actually is used on the tripod stand. If you look at the tripod stand, if you have to draw it uh, like in 3D, so tripod stand looks like something like this. Okay, and you see these are the legs of the tripod stand. And the clay triangle usually goes on top here and is going to be... Uh, held like this and sometimes you can like put a beaker on top here usually we use a clay triangle when we need direct heat we use a wire goes when you need diffuse heat okay so you could have something placed on top here that is going to get direct heat because here it's empty there's empty space here while in the wire goes there's an asbestos center here okay so here the heat diffuses Using the clay triangle, you get direct heat. Okay, uh, the iron ring already shown. Spatula or scupula? Well, spatula, it's kind of a spoon. So that would be a spatula. Okay, a scupula would just be something like that. It's used to hold substances and just like you would use a spoon. Okay. Uh, Evaporating dish, that's an evaporating dish. Funnel and filter paper, they usually go together. So you have the funnel here. And so that's the funnel. Very easy way of drawing a funnel. Use a ruler, of course. And the filter paper goes in here. So that's filter paper. Now, in case you need to draw like a filter paper uh, as a whole, so that would be a filter paper. That's a filter paper. It's a circle, actually. Let me just draw a circle. That's a filter paper. Okay. But uh, when we're using a filter paper in a funnel, we're going to uh, fold it. So we we'll fold it into half and then fold it into half again. So we end up with a 
quarter of a circle. So once it's like this, we're then, we're then going to open it and make it fit in the funnel. So filter paper and funnel. Glass rod, just a line. If you want, you can double that. Okay, glass rod. Pipette, pipette is the thing that is used to like drop, pipette or dropper. Okay, so just like that. Use a ruler, please. Okay, so when you squeeze this, squeeze this, it's going to let things out. And when it's squeezed, when you release it, it's going to pull things up. So when you release, it pulls things up. When you squeeze, it let, let things down. Thermometer. So that's a thermometer. Whoa. Okay. Bulb of the thermometer. We'll have the mercury in here. And you can show a line there in the center. Okay, so that's a thermometer. If you want, you can show degrees Celsius over here. Right now, uh, just a one equipment, just one equipment that's not shown in the video is the mass balance. A very easy way to show a mass balance. So mass balance, I'm going to include that. Mass balance is just going to be drawn like that. Okay, so mass balance. If you want, you can. So you can have numbers here. I'll just put grams here. So anything that you're measuring, you're measuring a beaker or you're measuring a crucible or you're measuring the mass of um, maybe your phone. Okay, so anything that goes on top of the mass balance, you can draw it. That's a simple diagram of a mass balance. Okay, so you see all these diagrams, they should go in your copybook, right? Easy diagram in pencil and ruler. All straight lines in pencil. Draw that and for each one, use the video to write down what they're used for. Okay, you can draw that. You can do that in the form of a table or in the form of diagrams and just writing down what it does uh, as notes below. Okay, so that's it.